Hey guys, it's officially September and we are here to discuss another market update. What's going on in the Utah real estate market? What's going on with prices? How long are homes staying on the market and how many new listings are coming to the market? We're gonna be covering all of that here in this video. I can't believe it's already September. I mean, summer has come and gone so quickly and I don't know about you, but if you're living here in Utah, uh, that means that snow and cold weather is just around the corner. Some of you will be excited for that and other people will be dreading that day when it comes. So I don't know about you, I'm kind of caught in the middle. Uh, you know, it's been really hot lately, but uh, you know, winter is just around the corner. So it'll be uh, good to get a little bit of a change of season and go into this fall uh, enjoying that. So as we jump into this here, I wanna talk a little bit about what I'm actually seeing in the market and what's happening on a day-to-day -day basis. Having worked with hundreds of people just like yourself, either make a move here into the state or move from one city to the other because they're already living here in Salt Lake, right? So I've helped hundreds of people make these moves and recently we've seen a lot of the same stuff happening. We've seen a lot of people uh, kind of pull back. We've seen people saying, hey, you know, I don't know if I really wanna buy that place. My payment's a little bit higher than I wanted or expected. And so we're seeing people pull back. Now, what that means in the grand scheme of things is that homes are still selling. However, there's more homes on the market now that are sitting than there were three, four, five months ago. We're going to talk a little bit about that, but there's also more homes that are, uh, you know, still moving, right? There's still people out there who are buying for one reason or another. Maybe it's just the right time. Maybe they need a bigger house or a smaller house. Maybe they're just coming into the state and need a place to live. There's still going to be people buying and no matter the market, there's always going to be people who want to buy and people who want to sell. Now that just means that the masses um, in this market are not generally doing that right? We've seen that over the last couple of years, the masses really wanted to buy a home, sell a home, you know, do all those things. And now that's kind of pulled back. So uh, we're going to see some different numbers here. The information that you're going to see here for the month of August is really surprising. I think it's something that I didn't expect, but there's some really good information. If you're thinking about making a move here or even selling a home, this is going to be really relevant information for you. Now, as we jump into my screen here and talk a little bit about that, before we do so, make sure to go ahead and sign up for our newsletter. There's a link in the description box below. We're going to be doing a giveaway here at the end of September for a, either a free ring doorbell or a uh, Nest thermostat. So uh, we're going to be doing a giveaway for anybody who signs up. You get a free entry. We're just going to draw a random name and uh, you could be the winner of that. So go ahead and sign up for that newsletter and don't forget to reach out to me if you're thinking about buying, selling, investing, or maybe even building a new home uh, here in Utah. I want to be your trusted real estate resource. All right, let's go ahead and jump into my screen here. Okay, so as we jump into my screen here, if you've watched my previous past videos on market updates, you're going to see some information here that looks very familiar. We're looking here at August of 2022. And this first column that we've got here is the number of home sales that happened during this month. So from July, we were at 3,200. In August, we were at 3,500 home sales. Now, if we go back and compare to uh, you know the years past, uh, last year, we saw homes actually increase just slightly, home sales increase in August of 2021. And as we go, if we go back to um, October, uh, 2020, uh, we actually saw home sales drop pretty substantially from 5,800 in July to 5,300 in August of 2020. Going back to 2019, which is kind of the last normal year that we had, right? Uh, we did actually see um, home sales drop just slightly from July into August. So home sales uh, definitely across the board are down. You know, we're at 3,500 sales, whereas in August, we're usually somewhere between 4,500 and 5,000 um, sales. Now, this is concerning not only for a couple reasons, right? Uh, one is because sales are down pretty, pretty substantially potentially, you know, 20 to 30%, let's say, but also the fact that there are more homes being built every single year, that theoretically means that there should be more people who are looking to buy and sell, who are looking to move. So even if all things were considered equal, which of course they're not, but if they were, uh, we should actually see those now, those sales numbers continue to increase year over year. So sales are actually down even a little bit more than I think people expect just because of how many actual homes are out there on the market. So that's the first bit of information that I want to share here. Now, as we look at this column right here, uh, I wish they just spell this out. You've got the median original list price. That's what this column here covers. And then the one next to it is the actual sales price price for those homes. So in uh, July and August of this year, we actually saw sales price, excuse me, listing prices at $518,000. Now the actual sales price was lower than that. We saw sales prices come down pretty substantially um, in July and August. July, it was at 506,000, which was a pretty big drop from June where we saw a pretty big drop there. But in August, it only dropped another $6,000. Now that's not very much, right? I mean, if you take a look at that, that's like, mm, that's like maybe 1% uh, of a drop. 
up, you know, from prices from July to August of this year. Now, so far in September, I mean, we're only on the sixth day of September. We just had a holiday, so there hasn't been a ton of sales yet, but we are still seeing that the median sales price is right at $500,000. Now, this is across all home types. This is, you know, condos, townhomes, single family homes, uh, luxury homes. It covers everything in all markets across the MLS. The other thing that's interesting here is that the, the sales price to original listing price did drop pretty substantially. So we were at 98% here. We're down actually at 96% um, for the month of August. So home sales are still dropping, although listing prices have not really dropped at all uh, so far for the month of September. We're actually seeing those prices are, are slightly higher. Now that could be, you know, there's going to be some margin of error in there, but um, listing prices are not dropping um, as quickly or as substantially as I think a lot of people have expected. Even if we go back to, you know, let's say April and May, I mean, we're at five, 509 right here and 525 right here. We're still in that rough range, um, even though pr sales prices have come down. So listing price is still high, but actual sales prices have come down. Now that means if you're a buyer in this market, you're going to have a lot more flexibility to go in and make an offer below the asking price, maybe negotiate some repairs, maybe negotiate a home warranty or some closing cost credits. You're going to be able to negotiate those types of things. And that's going to help you as a buyer in this market. So the last thing I want to point out here, and then we're going to get a little bit more specific uh, for you know different price ranges and stuff. So it, for you in your own individual situation, you may be saying, Hey, I'm looking at a house in this price range. Well, we're going to cover that here in just a second. So uh, the median cumulative days on market is the other thing that has increased. So we saw that we were in single digit numbers here sitting at six days on market from February through May. And then that has slowly started to climb in June. We were at nine, July, we we're at 15, August, we we're at 23. Now uh, in September, we're sitting at 32. Again, that's an incomplete data set just because the month is not yet finished. So we can't really go off of that, but it gives us a good uh, leading indicator as to what we can kind of expect. So we're seeing that homes are sitting on the market for a little bit longer. And you might say, Hey, uh, you know, this means that there's going to be more people who are, uh, or more homes that are just sitting there. Right. But if we go back and take a look at, you know, kind of the last normal year, right. If we go back to 2019 before the, the COVID pandemic and everything, uh, days on market is generally usually between 20 and 30 days, right? Uh, if we go back to uh, July and August of 2019, 21, 25 days, and then it climbs a little bit through the winter and then it will actually drop into the summer months. Now, um, you know, so that, that basically means that, hey, if we're sitting here at 23, that's totally normal. That's actually not a concern in my book. Um, that's something that's expected. You know, when you list a home, it's not normal for it to sell within two days, right? <laughs> you, you should generally be sitting on the market for uh, at least a couple weeks or, you know, maybe a month or two um, if you've got a price aggressive as a seller. So totally normal for the homes to be sitting at that, um, that range. The other thing I want to point out before we jump into some of this more detailed information about what's going on in these different price ranges is the number of listings that we actually have on the market has been pretty steady for about the last 30 to 40 days. Now, this is interesting because we are not seeing more homes come onto the market and we're actually seeing the number of homes that come onto the market versus the ones that get sold or pulled off of the market is actually about even. We're sitting at roughly, you know, somewhere between 9,200 and 90. 600 homes actively available on the market, depending on which day you look at. And that number has stayed pretty constant since uh, the end of July or early August. So that's really inf interesting information to see that the number of listings has increased substantially from where it was in May, but it has actually slowed down and we're not seeing more and more listings come to the market at this time. Okay. So let's jump back here into my computer and take a look at this information we've got here. Now, this is going to be for all home types between $500,000 and a million dollars for this data set right here. So we are seeing a little bit more sales in this price range um, from July to August of 2022. We are seeing that homes are still selling for a little bit below what they're listed at. We had a median list price of 649 right here, and then it actually jumped to 660 in August, but sales prices um, were still below those original listing prices. So right here, we're at 98% of the list price. And uh, for the month of August, we're at 97%. Now we are seeing homes, you know, sit on the market for 18 or 27 days, uh, not concerning information there. Now, I think this is, inf it is interesting interesting information because let's talk a little bit about what type of um, you know, what's going on in the market if you're looking between like a million and two million. So here looking at these higher listing prices, again, this is homes between one million and two million dollars. We generally see those homes sell for less than what they're listed for. Back here in March, that was an outlier. We saw a hundred percent, which means that if a home was listed at 1.25, it sold for 1.25. As we've gone um, into the you know more recent months here, we are typically seeing homes sell for anywhere between one to two percent below 
the listing price, but that is accelerating pretty dramatically. Here in July, we were at 96%, meaning a home on average or on a median basis was listed at 1.3 million, but sold for roughly 1.25. And then here in August, uh, you know, it's interesting, the median list price actually went up to 1.35 million with an, a median sales price of 1.25 still. So that was 93%. That could mean that there was a lot, uh, there was a higher percentage of homes that were listed towards the upper end of that range, you know, closer to 2 million that kind of skewed that data set. But even still here in this price range, um, we are seeing, you know, days on market slightly higher again, which is expected for the luxury market. And uh, here in September, uh, the number of home sales that we see here, we are actually seeing prices drop um, pretty substantially as of, you know, the last couple of days worth of data, uh, we're seeing a median sales price of 1.15. Now I do expect that to climb. I don't expect that to stay there, um, but it'll be interesting to watch that and see what happens. So with all that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to learn more about what it's like to work, eat, sleep, live, and play here along the Wasatch Front. I make videos like this and release, you know, one, two, maybe three videos per week talking about all things Utah real estate and just what's happening here in Utah. So make sure to subscribe and also don't forget to reach out to me. My team and myself want to be your trusted real estate resource when it comes to buying or selling real estate here in Utah. And we'd love to hear from you. My information is here on the screen. Cannot wait to hear from you about your own individual situation. With that said, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.